Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. We are back in my apartment for this vlog. I actually just got back to my apartment today. If you guys have been watching my videos, I've actually been home in Maryland for the last like two and a half weeks, dog sitting and stuff. But I'm back here today and today's actually a really exciting day because I have like a very short amount of time to get all these apartment updates done. Welcome to another apartment updates video. You guys, this is very, very long awaited, but we have some friends coming over tonight for Friendsgiving and that is just like the perfect push that I need to finish a bunch of small things in this apartment. So I need to write this all down i need to also just like unpack some things and like tidy up my desk i have like my work from home setup that i want to put back on my desk and stuff and just like get the apartment situated so just more or less get like the apartment updates done and i cannot wait i hope you guys come along i'm only really gonna vlog like while i'm doing these apartment updates and getting the apartment ready so i feel like more or less this is probably only gonna take like one or two hours to film but this will be a whole entire video for you guys because we have a bunch of things to do so i hope you guys stick around and i'm jenna if you guys are new here and let's go ahead and get started okay i need to write down everything that i'm gonna do today but i just want to give you guys an overview of the apartment right now so this is kind of like i haven't touched anything i haven't even been here for the last two and a half weeks really but here's what we're gonna do today some of the things here okay how about we sit at our desk and we make a list of all the things that we have to do and since we're already here at our desk i'm probably gonna start with the work from home setup but i just don't want to forget anything today so how about we make a list and we do all of this stuff together because i just need to make sure that the apartment is in good standing so let's make a to-do list you guys here's the plan for today we're gonna start with resituating and unpacking my work from home setup everything right now is in this bag and i just want to unpack it and put it back where it's supposed to be so that's what we're gonna handle first we're gonna handle the sconces because let me just show you guys here's one of the apartment updates you guys the sconces fell again and we're just gonna put up new ones it's really really unfortunate but this is like the second time that they've fallen and I just wish so bad I didn't throw away or like misplace the the screws for this and I couldn't find the replacements online on Amazon. So we are going to donate these or like give them away somewhere but I just don't know what to do with them because for some reason we just can't find anything and we tried putting them up again and they fell. So we got new sconces and I'm really excited to show you guys but this is definitely one of the updates that we will tackle today. This thing has just been driving me crazy for the last couple months and I'm tired of it. I love these so much. I just wish I could actually use them because I can't and it'll be fine. I'm actually really excited to show you guys the new sconces but that is what Thomas is working on right now. So that's the deal with the sconces. That's gonna be next. And then after that, we're gonna handle the neon clock and the picture frames. I got those with you guys on a different haul for Prime Day, and that was like over a month ago. And I've just been so busy with work that I haven't really put them up or printed any pictures. But I did print out pictures, and I'm so excited to put them up. The picture frames are gonna go in the entryway. So since we're gonna put up the stuff on the entryway, that means we're gonna have the art frames ready to hang somewhere. I put that last just because I'm not exactly sure if I can decide today where all of them will go, but I feel like I can decide where at least like one or two of the picture frames will go so that's the plan today i feel like I, I mean i know you guys know this but when you're moving i feel like it's important to handle all of the functional stuff first and then you handle the like the decor and wall stuff and like art and things last so i feel like i'm definitely there and the picture frames especially have been waiting they've just been sitting on our floor for the last like month and a half so i'm really excited to do that today and i feel like the entryway will look a lot more finished once we do that and i think it'll just look really nice the mirror that's already in the entryway area that will be like actually hung up and not just leaning so we can use that little ledge above where the shoes are for like more storage and stuff so i feel like this will be really good i will feel so good after these boxes are all unpacked so so let's start first with the work from home setup. I just wanna unpack everything and put everything in its place because I've been working from my home in Maryland for the last two and a half weeks. So let's do that first.
guys, I just finished cleaning up my desk. I put everything away, so my work from home setup is like as perfect as it can be right now. I just wanted to put my laptop and everything back in its place because I won't be working for a while. I'm on Thanksgiving break for the next week. So I just kind of wanted to put everything away, not have it all packed away in a bag for a whole week, but just in its place so that it's always kind of tidy. In the meantime, I put my planner for next year, the book that I'm reading, and my iPad at the bottom. I really like having a laptop stand just because I can store some things underneath without it taking too much surface area. And then I just have my planner. It used to be in the middle right here, but I just took it out to check off my to-do list. And yeah, oh my gosh, now the desk is just all clean and tidy. I like wiped it down and everything and we're all good to go. I'm also charging my extra battery packs for my camera right now. I really love that the FlexiSpot desk has a USB-C port just because I can always charge things without looking for a block. That leads me to today's sponsor. Thank you so much FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. I feel like I've talked to you guys time and time again for over two years now about how much my FlexiSpot desk has changed my work from home setup and like my whole work from home routine, my lower back pain, my product activity, everything. I just have so much to thank for this desk. If you guys haven't invested in your work from home setup, just think about how many eight to nine plus hours you spend every single day, every single week at your desk. And I just feel like investing in your desk setup is one of the best things that you could do for yourself. And it kind of sets you up to have a good day at work to get stuff done and to just feel like you're in a good place doing your work. Standing is probably the first thing that I realized that really helped me in my productivity, especially on days that I work from home. You guys know that I'm in a hybrid environment, but my standing desk just helps me so much to stay productive. When I'm not in the office and not have anyone to really talk to, or if Thomas is in class or something, I just think standing is like a good change of your environment without actually having to go anywhere. And this desk is so much more than a standing desk because it does have two USB ports and one USB-C port. It has four different heights that you can adjust and save. So there's four different memory locks. There's a child's lock button. So if you have any kids or pets that would touch around anything, you can just hold the button and then you're all safe. This specific desk is the Kamar all-in-one glass top desk. And I, and I just think that this is the best flexi spot desk. I love this one so much. I will always have this probably for the rest of my life. I love that it's a glass top because it's easy to clean. It's always very sleek looking. Another thing about this desk that I love is that it has a drawer. So I showed you guys me kind of reorganizing my drawer and it's just a really good way to get rid of any clutter. I like having a very minimal setup and a very functional setup when I'm working from home. So I love having a drawer for that reason. And I just love this FlexiSpot standing desk. It is so nice. Also, my chair is from FlexiSpot and you guys know how bad my lower back pain was. You guys, of all of the ergonomic chairs, I truly think that this flexi spot one is the best one out there because of specifically the 3D lumbar support. When I sit back, it gives me a really good stretch in my lower back and it's just really good lumbar support that way. I feel like my lower back pain has exponentially gotten so much better since I got this chair. The lumbar support is also adjustable, which is really nice and just everything in the entire chair is adjustable. You, you can lean back or you can lock just sitting up straight. The armrests are adjustable, the seat is adjustable, everything about the chair is adjustable and customizable to your needs and I just think that's really nice you really get what you pay for and I promise you guys if you have problems with your lower back pain this chair will help my sister even got it because of how she felt when she sat on this chair it's so nice FlexiSpot is doing a bunch of Black Friday deals so I would definitely check out their website if you're interested I'll have a link in my description box if you want to check out all of their deals especially the EG8 Calm Her All-in-One Desk is going to be $100 off from November 26th through November 28th so definitely check it out my chair is also on sale like literally right now as we speak I promise you guys you need to invest in your work from home setup and these two items from FlexiSpot will totally change the game for you. Thank you so much FlexiSpot again for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to our apartment updates. Okay you guys this is the entryway that we will be fixing up in a second but first let's do the sconces because I have just been dying to have working sconces ever since I moved in here but we'll be tackling this afterwards so stay tuned but this is the before of the entryway. Here is what the new sconces look like. I think these are so stunning. Since I had to buy new ones, I wanted to do something a little bit different, but still keep with the mid-century modern theme. So I got these really beautiful brushed gold sconces. These are really nice because they're plug-in, which is really good. So you don't have to hardwire anything and they're adjustable too. So you can kind of make them face any way you want. Oh my gosh, I just think these are so pretty. I can't wait. They're gonna look so good up. I did really love this sconce, you guys. Don't get me wrong, I would still highly recommend it and it's always gonna be linked in my Amazon storefront. I just wish that a year ago I saved the screws that it came with because we just lost it and then we could never find replacements and Home Depot couldn't help us. So we're gonna unfortunately say goodbye to these, but I really do love them and they're so affordable too. They're around $45 a pop. Out with the old and with the new and this is gonna look so pretty. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. It is 
actually the next day since you guys are seeing that last clip i just finished editing like everything that you guys have seen up until this point and i turned off the camera because we got one sconce up but the other one just didn't work and honestly you guys like i was so frustrated thomas was really frustrated and putting up sconces just ultimately is really hard if you don't get a high quality one i think or if you don't get like an adjustable one because when you drill it to the wall, you basically have to make sure, especially if it's like a lined sconce, you have to make sure that it's straight so that when you put it up, it's like a straight line, if you know what I mean. So we were having some trouble with the first one, but we did get it up. I just feel like it looked a little easier on the clips, but I just wanted to like stop the video for a second because that took a lot longer than we wanted to. I couldn't finish the other things and then we had to cook for Thomas's friends that were coming. So ultimately I did not finish the apartment updates in one day. I don't know why I thought it was gonna take like one hour, but we ended up having to stop and I think that's also probably a reality of doing like apartment updates, home updates, renovations or anything. A lot of times the original thing that you buy doesn't go as planned. And I think a lot of the times it's like really frustrating when it doesn't go as planned. So I didn't show you guys that because I think that would have been like terrible for me to watch back and for you guys to see. But this is just kind of like a little diary entry of doing this whole moving process and living with Thomas and living in an apartment in general, finding what works for you. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna handle the sconces at the very end of the video because I don't know what we're gonna do with them. I love the sconces, you guys. The new ones, like you guys saw it. I think they're absolutely stunning. And I'll put a picture of the one sconce that we finished, but we basically put a screw on the other side to crooked. It just looks uneven and like not straight. So I don't really know what we're gonna do. I like hope that we can make it work somehow because I think that they're so stunning. And I think that sconces are just a really good way to make your nightstand an actual place for you to store things and not take up like a quarter of the surface area with a lamp. So I have no idea what we're gonna do, but that thing was pissing me off and pissing off Thomas a lot yesterday that we just had to like stop filming. And I literally cried like two times since because this sconce debacle has just been a thing literally ever since we moved in. And it was just making me go crazy crazy you guys that the second one that I bought the third time we were putting it up was not working so I just had to take a step back and stop filming and I edited at least and I feel like I'm still in a good place with the apartment updates this is just like one video anyways so for you guys watching this is literally right afterwards but for me I had to take like the rest of the day to just stop because I was so pissed at the light situation so let's just see what we figure out at the end of the video I have no idea but the two things that we have left that we can do are put up the LED light that's gonna be a clock and we figured out where to put it this morning and Thomas and I like made sure to test that like the length would work and everything and that it'll all work fine that should be really simple and then we can put up the picture frames today too i want to show you guys what i got from cbs so i think that will be good hopefully <laughs> This is why wall stuff I feel like is really hard because it seems permanent because you have to put in a nail or something even though it's not. You can always fix up nails so I just don't know why I feel like it's dreadful to do the art and the wall stuff last. Because you can move around furniture however you want whenever and it doesn't really change anything. But I feel like when you put stuff on the walls it's just like annoying to change so you want to keep it for as long as possible if that makes sense. So I don't know. We'll see but the sconces are just not working. And if any of you guys can relate to specifically sconces or just anything in your home slash living situation where where you got something thinking it would work one way, it didn't, and then you have to kind of just like pivot and move on, then let me know because that was really driving me just so crazy. And I know I've already said that so many times. Let's go back downstairs. I at least feel good about like where this video is because I want to get this up like ASAP for you guys. It's actually Monday right now. So this is going to go up tomorrow because it's not going to be done in time for my upload schedule today. But I'm on break, so I'm trying to just be like, you know, nice to myself and just please, I need something to work I'm on the roof right now because I just had to do all of this alone and have some time for myself. So now that I've talked to you guys about it, I feel better. And let's go downstairs, figure something out and move on with this apartment updates vlog. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're back home and here is what we're gonna do next. We're gonna handle the 3D LED wall clock. I got this on Amazon with you guys. Here's how it looks. There's cables that are supposed to go in here, but Thomas and I already tested it out over there. It's gonna go on that wall. Initially, we were thinking maybe it should go in the middle of our desks, but I think it's just easier. So I think it'll be better on the side wall and then and maybe we'll put like art right there or something. But since our desks go up and down, I think it's just better to have the clock on the side. So let's do that. Hopefully this will be very quick, but I've been meaning to put this up like literally for over a month now. I don't want you now. 
circles right back to your door and I'm so tired Okay, you guys, here's how it looks. Here's our desks on standing height, and then here's the time. It's 12.30. I think it looks really nice. I will link this for you guys in my description box and put it in my Amazon storefront, but it was actually really nice because the cable's really long, or the wire, so it just is really nice because if your outlet is a little far, you have a lot of space, and I think it looks really nice. Cool. Okay, now we're gonna tackle the entryway slash the picture frames. So let me show you guys what I got from CVS. Okay, I have a bunch of pictures that I printed out from CVS and I just wanna show you guys them. So what we're gonna do is we printed all of these eight by eight black and white pictures and well, I did, I chose them. And these are just like pictures from different vacations. This was just like a random day that we went to dinner. Another random day. This is my college graduation, more college graduation. This is when we visited my dad's med school, when Thomas started his med school. And I think that's it, yeah. So I'm really excited because I got these black picture frames from Amazon and I'm just gonna put them together. And then once the frames are ready, then we're gonna take down the frames, put the mirror in the middle of the shoe rack and then put the picture frames on each side. But this is the last thing and I'm really excited. So how about we just do one nice time lapse of me doing this. I don't have any decor or anything to put on the actual ledge. I just wanna focus on the walls today. So in a different vlog, we'll figure out the bedside nightstand lamps. We'll figure out like the entryway ledge, but we're just doing wall stuff today. I'll put on a nice song for you guys too because when I do time lapses, I love doing like melodic songs and just like small artist songs. So enjoy this. up looking i think this looks so nice i definitely like underestimated how big the 12 by 12 frames are because this is an 8 by 8 photo but it's a 12 by 12 frame so it actually fit perfect with two and two on each side and now oh my god you guys this is so pretty i hate this but there's nothing i can do about it so here's how it looks here's our entryway I like need to figure out what to do with like the actual ledge, but this is just kind of what I did for the meantime. We have this Miss You Already sign that my friend Christina got me a long time ago, and then just this candle from Target. And then I decided to put the Polaroid and our little album here because I feel like I always forget about it when it's in the coffee table in the living room just because it's like underneath it. So hopefully if it's here, I'll remember to use it more. We still have these frames, but here's our door. And then when you enter, here's how it looks. Oh my gosh, I think it really does look so much better. I wanna know if you guys it to the very end of this video comment below and let me know what you guys think i should do with the rest of these frames so we have this wooden frame this is from my old apartment two years ago we have this gold frame this is from my apartment one year ago and then we have this one frame from aesthetics frames this is like the collab that we did together i'm not sure if it will look like too much to put something right here just because we do have a lot of space from the end of the entryway all the way until we get to like the living room we do have like this huge open space let me show you guys so here's the end of the entryway and then we still have like a good half of it but we just wanted the entryway to be closer to the door as opposed to being in the middle of this huge long wall so i don't know if it will look like too much to put another piece of art here but let me know i i'm leaning towards it'll look too cluttered with like this and then another frame here i could also put a frame here and then 
I feel like honestly the only other place I could put a picture frame is right there but then I don't know if it will feel like too much so I'm just not sure nothing's really standing out to me so just let me know what you guys think I have no idea Thomas and I will definitely just decide together one day but in the meantime I'm just not going to put up these frames today because nothing's really standing out to me just yet we do have leftover frames we have two frames that I've already prepared and then three more frames so I'm thinking maybe we could put two of them above the bed but that's like once we figure out the light situation because that is going to go off we decided to just like take all this down and remove it and then get regular bedside lamps in an ideal world you guys like I would love for this to work out but Thomas and I talked about it and it's just not going to make sense this one barely worked as it is and Thomas wasn't even sure if it was right in the first place even though we got it up so because that one's way too crooked we're just going to take these both down and then get bedside lamps to go just on the nightstand like a very traditional no more sconces thing <laughs> I do really love these I think they're so stunning I wish they worked but they just don't and that's okay that's very normal but stay tuned in the next vlog for this because I promise we will figure this out like ASAP it's actually driving me crazy this area was always just really messy to me so I do feel like it looks a lot more put together I'm actually really really happy with it I'm still not quite sure about the ledge but I'm just really glad that I actually have frames up this is like the one and only vlog you guys are gonna have the scones in the background so yeah but I'm actually really happy with what we did today. Again, this is just like a reality of living in a space. You're not going to get the perfect thing right away. It's not going to work out the first time every single time. And I need to remind myself that because I always think that it should be done immediately. First time, it's all perfect, but that's just not the reality. And the reality is that it's really frustrating a lot of the time. So... But that's it for today's video. Thank you again so much to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys check out the link in my description box. Check out all of their Black Friday deals. They're gonna have amazing deals starting from like right now. So make sure you guys check out their website and I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and lots more apartment updates to come in the future. And I guess that's it. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already. You ain't never did, never did, you ain't never came to